Hello, my name is Rich Keener. I'm the village manager for the Village of Villa Park. And today's another segment of our recording of the upcoming board agendas. So today we'll be talking about the Committee of the Whole and the board meeting on Monday, July 13th. And the Committee of the Whole starts at 7.30 p.m. here in the uh, Village Hall chambers upstairs. So let's begin. So for Monday, July 13th, the Committee of the Whole agenda has the following items. Number one would be the call to order the roll call. Number two would be the Pledge of Allegiance. Number three would be the amendments of the agenda. And at that particular time, that's the appropriate section of the agenda for the president or a member of the Board of Trustees to inquire if they could change the agenda to modify it, take something off, put something on, vote separately, things of that nature. And so moving on to number four on the Committee of the Whole is reappointments to boards and commissions. And it, Jay Pinkos will be reappointed to the Traffic and Safety Commission. So moving on to number five, it's the considerate ordinance authorizing the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois to borrow funds from the Public Water Supply Loan Program. The Village is proposing water system improvements on South Michigan Avenue between Madison Street and Park Boulevard. The Village intends to fund these improvements through a low interest loan uh, from the Illinois Environmental Protection Agency's Public Water Supply Loan Program. An ordinance authorizing the village to borrow up to $1.4 million in loan funds is needed. So folks, uh, for this particular project and, and projects like this, we like to use the Illinois EPA loan program because they usually charge us about 2% in interest. So when we borrow the $1.4 million, it'll be a lot less in interest, interest costs by using their loan program over just selling regular bonds or taking out a loan from a bank, et cetera. And so um, the South Michigan Avenue between Madison Street and uh, Park Boulevard will have its uh, water main uh, replaced, and that's an actual road referendum street that'll be uh, resurfaced, reconstructed, et cetera. So it'll improved anyway. So let's go on to number six. Consider an ordinance of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, amending the number of liquor licenses. The police department was advised that Indus Kitchen LLC DBA doing business as Mets Bond Chicago, a restaurant located at 234 West Roosevelt Road, is seeking to obtain a liquor license for the business. The owner has completed the background process which has been reviewed by the liquor commissioner. The liquor commissioner has recommended moving forward to issue the license, there will need to be an increase in the number of I classification liquor licenses. This amendment will increase the number of I classifications from nine to 10 liquor licenses issued within the Village of Villa Park. It is recommended that section 3-313A of the Village Code be modified to reflect this increase. And I think most of you folks uh, in the audience today are aware that Mets Bond has been open for a while now and, and uh, just would like a liquor license. So we'll try to accommodate that on Monday, uh, July 13th. So going on to number seven for the Committee of the Hall for Monday is to consider a resolution of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, approving the purchase of three Ford Explorers through the Suburban Purchase Cooperative. The police patrol division utilized Mark's vehicles as an integral function of its day-to-day -day operations. On a continuing basis, these vehicles are reviewed to ensure safe and economical operation, operating conditions are taking place. Review factors include maintenance costs, excessive downtime, vehicle appearance, and mileage. Currently, there are three vehicles in the police department fleet whose mileage has far exceeded generally accepted recommendations for first responders or emergency operations. And there is a need to replace these vehicles. Replacement vehicles, uh, 2016 Ford Utility Police Inceptor 
all-wheel drive explorers are available via the Suburban Purchasing Cooperative Program, contract number 121, it is recommended that three vehicles be purchased for patrol assignment from the authorized vendor. <coughs> Curry Motors Group, excuse me, in the amount of $25,544 per vehicle for a total purchase cost of $76,632. These vehicles are budgeted in the uh, fiscal year 15-16 budget, which is this year's fiscal budget, and sufficient funds are available for this purchase at this time. In the near future, the retired vehicles will be added to our inventory of surplus vehicles and will be disposed of in the appropriate manner. In other words, we'll, we'll place those within our auction items and sell those, and then we'll take the money from the old vehicles and use it to buy future vehicles. So, um, so number seven, we'll just, uh, it's recommended that we purchase three Ford Explorers and retire three vehicles. And folks, we usually do that. We buy maybe in between three and five vehicles a year for the police department and retire the older vehicles. And I would uh, probably guess that these vehicles probably have close to maybe 130,000 miles on them. And it's probably time to retire them. So moving on to number eight is to consider a resolution of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois authorizing an engineering services agreement between the Village and Clark Diaz, Inc. for the 27, 2017 High Ridge Road resurfacing project. The Village will be receiving a surface transportation program grant that will provide 70% funding up to $171,000 for construction of the 2017 High Ridge Road resurfacing project. Public Works staff proposes using Clark Diaz for the Phase II Design Engineering Services. A proposed engineering services agreement with Clark Diaz establishes the scope of services at a cost not to exceed $35,000. <coughs> me, folks. So the High Ridge Road is actually the road that leads into Willowbrook High School. And what we're trying to do, folks, is we're trying to either resurface that in 2016 or at the hopefully at the latest 2017. So we think we can ask for those funds to be appropriated earlier, the grant, so we can do that project in 2016. And that's why we're moving forward with the design um, later this fall. So going on to number nine is to consider a resolution of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, authorizing a contract with Orange Crush LLC of Hillside, Illinois for the 2015 street resurfacing project in the amount of $1,572,000. The village proposes improvements to nine streets and one alley as part of the 2015 street resurfacing program. The project is funded with both referendum funds and non-referendum funds. Village staff publicly bid the project with five contractors submitting bids. Orange Crush LLC of Hillside, Illinois submitted the lowest responsible bid in the amount of $1,572,000. So folks, we'll be moving forward with improvements to nine streets with that particular proposal. So that's very exciting. Um, so we'll move on to number 10 which is to consider a resolution of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, authorizing a contract with a Lamp Concrete Contractors, Inc. of Schaumburg, Illinois, for the 2015 Twin Lakes Area Street Improvement Project in the amount of $842,117.72. Uh, the Village proposes improvements to six streets located in the area around Twin Lakes uh, Park as part of the 2015 Twin Lakes Area Street Improvements. The project is funded with both referendum and non-referendum funds. Village staff publicly bid the project with six contractors submitting bids. ALAMP Concrete Contractors, Inc. of Schaumburg, Illinois submitted the lowest responsible bid in the amount of $842,117 in 17 or 72 cents. 
with me, folks. So if you take a look at proposal number nine in conjunction with proposal number 10, nine we're doing nine streets in one alley, and in 10 we're doing six streets. That's an incredible amount of streets that we're going to be doing within the next few weeks and leading into the later part of summer and fall. So that's very exciting. We've been waiting a long time for this, and I'm sure you have, so very exciting. So moving on to number 11 for the Committee of the Whole for Monday night, July 13th, is to consider a resolution of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, authorizing an engineering services agreement between the Village and Clark Diaz, Inc. for the 2015 street improvement projects at a cost of $190,000. The Village recently opened bids on three construction projects at various locations within the Village. Public Works staff proposes using Clark Diaz for the Phase three construction engineering services for all three projects. A proposed engineering services agreement establishes the scope of services for Phase three construction engineering at a cost of $190,000. And folks, what that is, that's construction oversight. So at a cost of not to exceed uh, $190,000. So we've got plenty of streets being done. We just need some additional oversight um, and we'll use Clark Diaz. So number 12 uh, for the committee a whole for Monday night is to consider a resolution of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, authorizing engineering services agreement between the Village of Villa Park and RJN Group, Inc. for engineering services in year two for the Village of Villa Park's combined sewer overflow long-term control plan. The Village owns and operates a wet weather flow treatment facility that provides secondary treatment of excess sanitary and combined sewer flows. One of the requirements of the fluid uh, treatment facility operating permit from the IEPA is that the village complete and submit a long-term control plan for combined sewer overflow to the IEPA. So the general goal of the long-term control plan is to reduce the frequency of combined sewer overflow discharges to Salt Creek, RGN Group has submitted a proposal to provide the necessary services to produce the long-term control plan. The work effort will be split over two fiscal years. RGN completed phase one of the proposed work at a cost of $78,070. Phase two is budgeted in this fiscal year, 15-16, at an additional cost of $56,910. And again, as I just read to you, the IEPA mandates that we do a long-term control pro program. So this will be the second year, and then the plan will be complete. So moving on to number 13 for Monday night is to consider a resolution of the Village of Villa Park to Page County, Illinois, authorizing an engineering services agreement between the Village and Baxter and Woodman, Inc. for the North Princeton Avenue Street Improvement Project at a cost not to exceed $64,800. The village proposes referendum funded street improvements on North Princeton Avenue between Terrace Street and Ridge Road. Public Works staff proposes using Baxter and Woodman for the phase two design engineering services. A proposed engineering services agreement establishes the scope of service at a cost not to exceed $64,800. So folks, so far out of the, the 13 items, we've got plenty of engineering items. Um, so we're going to have a, a busy latter part of this summer and fall. So moving on to 14 for the Committee of the Whole for Monday night, July 13th, is to consider a resolution of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, to ratify NESDRA board action approving modified terms for past pension plan contribution repayment to member partners for fiscal year 2015. After years of discussion, it was agreed by all member partners of the North, Northeast DuPage Special Recreation Association, also known as NESDRA, for approval to include NESDRA employees in the Illinois Municipal Retirement Fund, which is also 
known as the IMRF fund. Uh, because the member partners had made payments to support Nesra's employer contributions to a different pension plan, the potential for double funding employee pension was a possibility. It was agreed that Nesra shall reimburse the member partners for the amounts of their respective shares of the cost of past pension plan plus 1.5% interest and three equal installments totaling $406,067. Due to the untimely death of past NESDRA director Gina Greenwald, the potential purchase of pension enhancing IMF service credits has decreased by approximately $145,000, well $145,221 to be exact. The Village of Villa Park's reimbursement therefore will be reduced by $12,158 for a reimbursement of $22,005. These reimbursement dollars will continue to be used for ADA projects. So folks, what, ha what happened was that NESDRA employees were in a different pension plan and they wanted to go to IMRF, so they were changed over to IMRF and some of the funds were refunded to the different municipalities that contributed um, to the pension plan. So when they switched to IMRF, some of those funds were refunded. And then there was a death of the executive director. And uh, so some more funds uh, will not be refunded because she did not have the ability to go into IMRF and purchase service credit. So, so moving on to number 15 for Monday night for the Committee of the Whole is to consider a resolution of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, approving an intergovernmental agreement for the use of one classroom at the Iowa Community Center between the Village and Sassed. The School Association for Special Education in DuPage County, DuPage County, Illinois, a, a body in uh, politic, and, politic and corporate, Sassed, would like to enter into a lease for the one additional classroom at the Iowa Community Center during the 2015-16 school year. Staff recommends that the village enter into an intergovernmental agreement with SASED to lease one classroom at the Iowa Community Center. Excuse me, folks. For the 2015-16 school year, for the lease price of $15,000, SASED will house a section of their early childhood program at the Iowa Community Center. So folks, we have another classroom that we'd like to lease out. So it, it's a great um, working relationship that we have with SAS Ed. So we have an extra classroom, we'll lease it to them for the next school year. So it's, uh, it's a benefit to both organizations. So moving on to number 16, consider a resolution of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois for the issuance of permits for road work on state highways located within the village. The village owns and maintains various infrastructure within state right-of-way including water mains, sanitary sewers, sidewalks, and landscaping. The state allows the village to pass a resolution in lieu of obtaining individual permits for work performed on village facilities in state right-of-way. The proposed resolution would be for the calendar years 2015 and 2016 and and folks we do this almost on an annual basis so and then late 2016 we'll pass another resolution for 2017 and 2018 and so let's move on it's uh, 17 so it's quite an agenda for Monday night uh, consider a resolution of the village of Villa Park DuPage County Illinois authorizing a contract with GNM cement construction company of Addison Illinois for the 2015 Concrete Street Improvement Program. So the village proposes improvements to five streets as part of the 2015 Concrete Street Improvement Program. The project is funded with both referendum funds and non-referendum funds. Village staff publicly bid the project with 12 contractors submitting bids. So GNM Cement Construction Company of Addison, Illinois submitted the lowest responsible bid in the amount of $1,218,358.15. So folks, if you really think about it, 
We've got three items on Monday's Committee of the Whole dealing with streets. We have the previous uh, uh, proposal for nine streets, followed by another proposal with six streets, followed by this proposal for concrete streets, so for five. So it's going to be very, very busy. So I hope, hope you're very pleased with the amount of streets that we've talked about this afternoon. Um, so let's move on to 18, which is uh, my favorite, convened to the formal agenda. So we have 18 different items on the agenda for Monday uh, for the Committee of the Whole. So proceeding to the formal, now always remember though that the Committee of the Whole starts at 7.30, then the formal immediately starts after the Committee of the Whole. So for Monday, July 13th, the formal agenda is as follows. So we'll start out with number one, the Village President's Report. And that's the appropriate time for President Bowinkle to uh, kind of give us uh, some background on what's happened the last couple weeks since our last meeting. Could be emails, phone calls, uh, questions of staff, things of that nature. Number two is public comments on agenda items. And that's the appropriate time for residents, the public in the audience to come to the podium and ask staff questions or the board questions. Could be almost anything, road projects, um, the amount of rainfall that we received lately, um, what's happening with uh, the Kiwanis concerts in the park or our car show. So it could be almost anything. Um, and then moving on, uh, the consent agenda, number four is A, a bill listing dated July 13, 2015 in the amount of $1,443,064.63. B is minutes from the Village Committee of the Hall meeting for June 22, 2015. C is minutes from the Village Formal Board meeting for the June 22, 2015 meeting. D, first and final reading of an ordinance authorizing the Village of Villa Park DuPage County, Illinois to borrow funds from the Public Water Supply Loan Program, and that's the IEPA loan program. So D, and, and most of these will be carryover from the Committee of the Whole um, into the consent agenda. So the village for D is proposing water system improvements of South Michigan Avenue between Madison Street and Park Boulevard. The village intends to fund these improvements through a low interest loan from the Illinois Environmental Protection Agency's Public Water Supply Loan Program in order it's authorizing the village to borrow up to 1.4 million and loan funds is needed. And as I explained earlier, we believe that the loan would be at approximately a 2% interest rate. So that would save uh, quite a bit of funding. <coughs> and moving on to E would be first and final reading of an ordinance of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, amending the number of liquor licenses. So the police department advised that Indus Kitchen LLC doing business as Mets Bar in Chicago, a restaurant located at 234 West Roosevelt Road, is seeking to obtain a liquor license for the business. The owner has completed the background process which has been reviewed by the Liquor Commissioner and the Liquor Commissioner has recommended moving forward to issue the license. There will be need to increase the number of Class I classification liquor licenses this amendment will increase the number of Class I classifications from 9 to 10 uh, within the Village of Villa Park. It is recommended that Section 3-313A of the Village Code be modified to reflect this increase. So, and, and Metzbond's been in operation for uh, quite a while now, so I believe uh, they want a liquor license to improve their business, and we'll try to help them do that. So F on the, on the um, consent agenda for Monday night is a resolution of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, approving the purchase of three Ford Explorers through the Suburban Purchase Cooperative. So on F, folks, um, the police department wants to purchase three all-wheel drive Ford Explorers and then we'll retire three vehicles and those retired vehicles will then be sold at auction. So the cost of the 2016 Ford Utility Police Interceptor all-wheel drive explorers will be $25,544 each 
for a total purchase cost of $76,632. And again, that would be three all-wheel drive Ford Explorers from Curry Motors Group, and then we'd retire three squads and then sell those at a future auction. So moving on to G for the consent agenda for Monday night would be the resolution of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, authorizing an engineering services agreement between the Village and Clark Diaz, Inc. for the 2017 High Ridge Road resurfacing project. The Village will be receiving a surface transportation program grant that will provide 70% funding up to $171,000 for construction of the 2017 High Ridge Road resurfacing project. Public Works staff proposes using Clark Diaz for the Phase II Design Engineering Services. A proposed engineering services agreement with Clark Diaz establishes the scope of services at a cost not to exceed $35,000. And folks, as I mentioned during the Committee of the Whole discussion, the High Ridge Road resurfacing project is scheduled for 2017 uh, because that's when we're supposed to receive the grant proceeds. But the road is in such deterioration that we have requested to move that project up to 2016 and we're attempting to do that right now. So if we complete the design in fall of 2015, we'll be ready for spring reconstruction. And if you happen to drive that road, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's pretty rough. Uh, moving on to H for the consent agenda for Monday night is a resolution of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, authorizing a contract with Orange Crush LLC of Hillside, Illinois, for the 2015 street resurfacing project in the amount of $1,572,000. The Village proposes improvements to nine streets and one alley as part of the 2015 street resurfacing program. The project is funded with both referendum funds and non-referendum funds. Village staff publicly bid the project with five contractors submitting bids. Orange Crush LLC of Hillside, Illinois submitted the lowest responsible bid in the amount of $1,572,000. And folks on Monday, um, we have a whole list of all the streets, and we'll read that into the public record, and we'll make sure that that's on our website. Because if you, if you were with me during the Committee of the Whole, we've got um, all kinds of streets that we're talking about being done for con concrete and others, and even the alley. So all kinds of things uh, will be done to the street and uh, for improvements here later part of the summer. So we'll make sure we read those streets into public record. On Monday night. Uh, so moving on to um, I, which is a resolution of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, authorizing a contract with A Lamp Concrete Contractors, Inc., of Schaumburg, Illinois, for the 2015 Twin Lakes Area Street Improvement Project in the amount of $842,117.75. The village proposes improvements to six streets located in the area around Twin Lakes Park as part of the 2015 Twin Lakes Area Street Improvements. The project is funded with both referendum and non-referendum funding. Village staff publicly bid the project with six contractors submitting bids. A-Lamp Concrete Contractor, Inc. of Schaumburg, Illinois, submitted the lowest responsible bid in the amount of $842,000. $117.72. So moving on to J is a resolution of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, authorizing an engineering services agreement between the Village and Clark Diaz, Inc. for the 2015 street improvements projects at a cost of $190,000. The Village recently opened bids on three construction projects at various locations within the Village. Public Works staff proposes using Clark Diaz for the Phase Three Construction Engineering Services for all three projects. A proposed engineering services agreement establishes a scope of services for Phase Three Construction Engineering at a cost of $190,000. And folks, the, uh, the Phase Three Engineering 
is uh, construction oversight. So we need some additional assistance because we have a lot of projects going on. So moving on to K, resolution of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, authorizing an engineering services agreement between the Village of Villa, Clark, Villa, Villa Park and RJN Group, Inc. for engineering services in year two for the Village of Villa Park combined sewer overflow long-term control plan. So the village owns and operates a wet weather treatment facility that provides secondary treatment of excess sanitary and combined sewer flows. One of the requirements of the treatment facility's operating permit from the IEPA is that the village complete and submit a long-term control plan for combined sewer overflow to the IEPA. So the general goal of the long-term control plan is to reduce the frequency of combined sewer ov overflow discharges to Salt Creek, which would make sense. RJN Group has submitted a proposal to provide the necessary services to produce the long-term control plan. The work effort will be split over two fiscal years, last year and this year. So RJN completed phase one of the proposed work at a cost of $78,070. That's already done. But phase two is budgeted for this fiscal year, fiscal year 15-16, at an additional cost of $56,910. And then we'll have the plan complete and submitted to the IEPA. Moving on to I, Resolution of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, authorizing an engineering services agreement between the village and Baxter and Woodman, Inc. for the North Princeton Avenue Street Improvement Project at a cost not to exceed $64,800. <coughs> the village proposes referendum funded street improvements in North Princeton Avenue between Terrace Street and Ridge Road. Public Works staff proposes using Baxter and Woodman for the Phase II Design Engineering Services. A proposed engineering services agreement establishes a scope of services at a cost not to exceed $64,800. So again, folks, engineering is going to have a very busy summer. Uh, moving on to M, resolution of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, to ratify NESDRA Board Action Approving Modified Terms for Past Pension Plan Contribution Repayment to Member Partners for Fiscal Year 2015. So after years of discussion, it was agreed by all member partners of the Northeast DuPage Special Recreation Association, also known as NESDRA, for approval to include NESDRA employees into the Illinois Municipal Retirement Fund, also known as IMRF. Because the member partners had made payments to support NESRA's employer contributions to a different pension plan, the potential for double funding employee pensions was a possibility because the other pension plan plus uh, IMRF, so we had the possibility of double, double payments. It was agreed that NESRA, NESRA shall reimburse member partners for amounts of their respective shares on the cost of the past pension plan, plus 1.5% interest in three equal installments, totaling $406,067. But due to the untimely death of past NESDRA director, Gina Greenwald, the potential purchase of pension enhancing IMRF service credits has decreased because of the death by approximately $145,221. So the Village of Villa Park's reimbursement, therefore, will be reduced by $12,158 for a reimbursement total of $22,005. These reimbursement dollars will be continued to be used for ADA projects. And that's what we do with the NESDRA funds, folks. We do ADA projects throughout the Village of Villa Park. Could be at Twin Lakes for the nice park area we have there or it could be the ICC Center for that beautiful park that we have there. So, and even our pools for ADA projects. So, uh, Moving on to N, resolution of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, approving an intergovernmental agreement for the use of one classroom 
at the Iowa Community Center between the village and Sasson. So the School Association for Special Education at DuPage County, DuPage County, Illinois, um, SAS Ed, would like to enter into a lease for the one year additional, uh, one additional classroom for 2015 at the Iowa Community Center. Uh, staff recommends that the village enter into an intergovernmental agreement with SAS Ed to lease the one classroom at the Iowa Community Center for the 2015-2016 school year for a price of $15,000. SAS said will house a section of their early childhood program at the ICC. So that's very beneficial to SAS Ed and the village. So um, that will help out the Parks and Recreation Department by the additional revenue. So moving on to O for Monday night for the consent agenda is a resolution of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois for the issuance of permits for road work on state highways located within the village. The village owns and maintains various infrastructure located within state right-of-way, including water mains, sanitary sewers, sidewalks, and landscaping. The state allows the village to pass a resolution in lieu of obtaining individual permits for work performed on village facilities in state right-of-way. The proposed resolution would be for the calendar years 2015 and 2016. And then, as I mentioned previously during the Committee of the Whole, that in late 2016, we'll pass another resolution for 2017 and 2018. So we kind of do this almost on an annual basis. So moving on to P for Monday night and the uh, consent agenda for the formal agenda is a resolution of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, authorizing a contract with G&M Cement Construction Company of Addison for the 2015 Concrete Street Improvement Program. The village proposes improvements to five streets as part of the 2015 Concrete Street Improvement Program. The project is funded with both referendum and non-referendum funds. Village staff publicly bid the project and with 12 contractors submitting bids, G&M Cement Construction Company of Addison, Illinois submitted the lowest responsible bid in the amount of $1,218,358.15. <coughs> so that ends the consent agenda. Uh, it's quite a load. Um, should be a very, uh, very good meeting Monday night. So moving on to number five for the formal agenda for Monday, July 13th, is public comments and non-agenda items. And that would be the appropriate time for folks in the audience to ask questions of staff or the board on items that are not on the agenda. So number six is the village clerk's report. And that's the appropriate time for Clerk Kornecki to give us kind of a, a background of what's happening in her area as clerk in the last couple of weeks. Could be emails, phone calls. Uh, and she happens to also be the president of our local Kiwanis club. So sometimes she brings up like say for instance, the Kiwanis concerts in the park that we have on Wednesdays at 6.30 uh, at the gazebo through the month of July. So she might bring that up Monday night. So moving on to number seven is the village trustees report. And that would be the appropriate time for the trustees to ask questions of staff or kind of uh, give us an update on what's happening in their role, what kind of meetings they attended or re emails that they've received. So moving on to number eight is the village manager's report. And that would be the appropriate time for myself to kind of give an update to the residents and the board on things that have happened in my area for the last several weeks. And it could be things in uh, Springfield with uh, legislative proposals, could be rainfall and uh, stormwater, could be many different things. I always try to make it interesting. Uh, number nine is the village attorney's report, and that would be the appropriate time for village attorney or Benninger to kind of bring up what's been happening in their area of expertise in the last few weeks. And then we move on to number 10, which is an adjournment. And so folks, for Monday night, July 13th, we've got a, a large agenda, a lot of engineering projects, uh, the purchase of three squad cars. So, and as I mentioned before, 
I'll go through all the streets that are going to be improved by the contracts and um, name those so if you happen to be listening and it's your street you'll know that later on the summer and early fall it'll be uh, improved. So um, our weather's been kind of rainy, it's been kind of warm, so it's kind of like a roller coaster right now, but we do have a lot of neat things happening within the village. Don't forget on Thursday nights we have a wing ding night at the VFW. Uh, still have the fish fries on Friday night. Sundays we have our antique vehicle shows at Cortesi Park. Um, and Wednesdays we have Kiwanis concerts in the park at the gazebo at 6.30. So just all kinds of things taking place. On the prairie path uh, being used uh, by runners, walkers, bikers. So please, I hope to see you out there um, trying to make the uh, village uh, strong. So we've got a lot of improvements happening and, and um, just hoping uh, we have some dry days and we can use our pools and get some suntan. So, so take care, folks. Again, my name's Rich Keener. I'm the village manager for Villa Park. It's my honor. And uh, we'll see you Monday night, July 13th. Take care.